Hello everybody and welcome back to the mess that is my desk and today I'm going to be doing an overview of this little item I actually got it for Christmas but I thought I'd do an overview video on it and then a review video afterwards once I've actually used it because I haven't used it yet why don't you autofocus uh, let's. It's a while since I've done one of these. Um, I apologize for that. It's just if there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do. There it is. So it's a K Edge flat bottom GoPro clip. I can't remember what it's called. There are cheaper versions available. Um, so what I bought this for is actually for the Anaconda, the ready made RC Anaconda. Because uh, the GoPro fits underneath on that, if you've got one of the uh, standard stick on GoPro mount. I'm scared of it just dropping off the bottom. Um, so what I've been doing lately is wrapping some a tie wrap around there, loop to another tie wrap to another tie wrap to the nose wheel of the Anaconda. So if it ever fell off it just swing underneath the Anaconda uh, until it landed. But what I am going to be installing soon is this little item. Um, so it's got two, I'm not sure if to say four or five mil bolt holes so that could bolt a piece of wood either way up obviously um, nice and solid so it replaces the standard GoPro case this is an official GoPro case so you take off the regular clip and I think it comes with an Allen key the ones I'm going to link in the description um, do come with Allen keys so I believe this was like $9.99 um, I found them on chi uh, from China on eBay for £1.27 uh, in the UK, supposedly for two pound fifty, but I think all that really is because it says it take five to seven days to come. Is I apparently press print go back. I think basically what it is is it's from China, but they're sticking an ex more expensive faster postage on it. So it's not a brilliant fit, as you can tell. It's not just sliding in, like for example that does. Yeah, you know, that just sort of slides in. I'm not sure if they've had to do that because of patents or what but it does with a bit of force and making sure you keep it straight it does slide in like so then you've got an allen key based screw that you just put into the slot again a bit of wiggling around to make sure it all lines up And there we are, that's it. It's very tight now, as you can see. That's not shifting anywhere, so you need to put it in the correct place before you say like that. So as you can sort of see, that's how I would have it. Let's go that way. On the Anaconda or on any plane, sort of if it's dangling underneath, it'd look like that, sort of pointing towards the ground. It's very hard. You can sort of, it's very hard to work out angles when the camera is sort of sideways to what you're working with. Um, so yeah, it fits. Uh, something I'm slightly concerned about, and you can get this in a range of different anodized colors, by the way. Um, the issue you have with something like this is I would be afraid of the um, any vibration knocking the screw out. As you can see, it doesn't stick through very far. Have I got to turn off autofocus? As you can see, it doesn't stick through very far. What I'd be tempted to do is actually get a bigger screw because it doesn't matter how big the head is. <coughs> it doesn't matter how big the head is, um, it's just sort of the length of the screw. And as you can see, there's plenty of room on that side for extra screw. So I'd probably use that. And because of the sort of screw and the fact that. Um, doesn't fit directly and of course some of the cheap Chinese ones could be worse but honestly I think they're the same thing just with a brand name stuck on them um, what might be a better idea is if you could get some cheap of these plastic cases as well I think you can even get aluminium cases but I'm not sure about shock although I suppose there's not much shock proof in this but say you could get clones of this that were still pretty strong like you know they're not gonna go brittle and break off in the cold what you could do is you could get um, and just have a dedicated metal attachment and plastic thing 
I suppose if you wanted to be really budget about this, you could get one of the tripod adapters, but then you need tripod bolts, which are expensive. Um, so when I attach this, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to use some sticky foam across the back, um, just to provide a bit of uh, isolation, because of course with these, you have got the... Let me get one out. Oh, have I... I put the open back uh, in the box of stuff, don't I? But you can sort of see what I mean. You know, there's, there's some foam on the back of these sticky things, which will allow you to um, you know, have a bit of um, vibration removal. Um, so what I'd probably do is I'd probably use some sticky foam across the back just to provide a bit of that, and then um, bolt it on. So that's sort of for your front position GoPro. I'm probably still going to drop these around on different things, so if I want a different wingtip style shots or whatever. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will be a much time way to do things. So when I attach this to the Anaconda, a piece of sticky foam, a couple of four or five mil screws, I'll have to check. And I'll probably use a longer bolt so that if it does come out a little bit, it's not too death, deathly. Um, as I say, another option would be to get a few of these plastic things and lock tight the screw in uh, once you've got it locked. And then you always know it's going to be in the exact right place. Um, but at the same time, you could break the plastic case on landing. Because um, this is incredibly tight. I mean, even if I loosen off the screw when I put that uh, Allen key thing, if you loosen off the screw, it's still not overly smooth. Um, as I say, it squishes into the plastic. Your plastic will end up getting scratched in the middle, but of course, because it's not on the lens, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, Jesus. Oh, there we are. I believe these are meant for surfboards. The idea is you bolt this to a surfboard, but. I don't surf. You can see it has sort of lightly scratched the plastic. Again, turn off autofocus. But again, not important as it is not a thing that the camera sees through. But yeah, it seems great. I mean, it's very solid. It's aluminium, anodized aluminium. So. I'm going to bolt this on if it's decent. Uh, most of my planes that I'm going to attach a GoPro to will have one of these on um, to make sure it's nice and solid and not going to come unstuck like um, one of these ones might do. I remember I had a Chinese copy of a camera. It was a AEE or AAE, something like that, camera. And their mounts of these that had the sticky on, uh, they also had little four holes sort of in the middle of one. Can I get one of these out very quickly? I do have a about broken knife that I could use to. I get one of these out. So on the copy, these are fake GoPro clips, by the way. But on the copy GoPro camera, these things, the actual base was a lot wider. And they had um, screws you could put sort of these self-tapping servo screws in and bolt it. Um, for example, I used them to bolt um, or, or screw these straight onto the disc servo arms in plane, so I could use them for pan, uh, which was nice. That's obviously on the bigger planes; it don't matter about the weight. But yes, very good. A full review on these will be done at a later date. But it seems a good product, as I say, I wouldn't get them from whatever that brand is, um, because they're very expensive, they're like $20 I saw on the US site for that, it's a bit excessive. Um, so I'll put some links in the description, with me not affiliate links because they're just eBay websites. I can't fully vouch for the eBay ones, I can't vouch for the specific seller, like I could have said a clock, although that is a disaster. But yes, this is a very good idea, I thought I'd share it with you, because it took me ages to find something like this um, which is I was looking for a bolt on GoPro clip that wasn't for um, a handlebar or anything um, so yes hopefully that is something useful and again as with many things reviews and such things will carry on in the future at some point today I'm gonna go down and work on the X1 hopefully if I have enough time and I'm not too busy but yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed click the like button has a lot more subscribe and of course I'll see you all in the next one bye bye